السلام علیکم فرینڈز ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آف ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک ویئر اے بردر آس اے کوشچن اباؤٹ دی ایٹنگ دی ویجیٹیری نان ویجیٹیرین اینڈ ایٹنگ دی میٹ آف اینیمل واچ دی ویڈیو اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ویڈیو گڈ ایوننگ ایوری ون اینڈ گڈ ایوننگ ڈاکٹر نائک ٹوڈے آئی ایم اے ہیومن اسپیکنگ آن بہاف آف ہیومینٹی Now, Dr. Nayak, since you were... Can we have your name, please? Yeah, I am Clearly. Chirag, and please don't ask my religion. Dr. Nayak, since you were born, maybe in a Muslim family, you were prescribed with your religion. Now, that is why today you are endorsing it, maybe. If you would have been born in a Hindu family, it could have been possible that today this religion would have been on Hinduism. This, I feel, is an extreme case of ethnocentrism, wherein you feel your religion, culture, beliefs and ideas are supreme. That is why you said that Sikhism or Arya Samaj or whatever religion that abandons idol worship is supported by you too. According to me, we should be discussing a larger religion of humanity and not keep juggling here. Any comments or oh, justification, sir? Very good question. He says that because I was born in a Muslim family, that's the reason I'm endorsing Islam. Maybe if I was born in a Hindu family, I would be endorsing Hinduism. And I'm supporting Arya Samaj and Sikhism because it matches my view and I'm juggling around. I should rather speak about broader aspect. Very good question. Yes. Brother, I agree with you. Till the age of 19, I was a Muslim only because my father was a Muslim. After the age of 19, when I started studying about comparative religion, now I'm a Muslim by choice. And believe me, if you can point out any other religion to me better than Islam, I am ready to accept that religion today. Today. Sir, I am endorsing the religion of humanity. Brother, I'll come to it. Yeah. I'll come to it. Yeah. I am telling anyone, prove to me logically, scientifically, any other religion better than Islam, I am ready to accept it. You are telling, you are talking about humanity. Who wrote this religion, humanity? Mahatma Gandhi? Who wrote it? You know, a Muslim cannot be a good Muslim unless he's a good human being. That no. every religion says, every brother, religion says... Brother, let me complete my answer. Yes, sir. Are you here to hear my answer or are you here to give your views? I would like to have a healthy discussion and reach brother, to a logical conclusion. This is not a debate session. Not at all. I never said... So listen to my answer. After my answer, you can give your comment. Okay, please. Let me finish my answer. Keep on interjecting. That means you listen to my answer. Carry on. Listen carefully. Yeah. Something is going, Mahabharata is going in your mind. How will you listen? When Please you, carry on. When you read out your question, did I interrupt? Please carry on. Did I interrupt? You, you did not. Please so, carry on. Everything writing down, coming, asking question. I now said... I am giving yeah. the reply. Listen. This yeah, is my reply. I am listening. So why are you commenting? Please carry on, sir. Please justify. Tell me your answer. If you listen to my answer, you'll understand. Otherwise, all this more than 100,000 people will understand, yet you'll have the same question. I'm a medical doctor. A person can't concentrate on two different things. Listen to the answer. After the answer is over, no problem. So what you have to realize, you're talking about humanity. First you said, don't ask my religion. Then you're saying, I'm endorsing humanity. First of all, you're ashamed to identify your view. Then you're talking about humanity. I'm asking the question, who wrote this book called Humanity? Is there any book? Is there any guidelines of humanity? I'm telling you, a Muslim cannot be a Muslim until he's a good human being. Every religion doesn't say that. I'm sorry to say that. You have not studied the other religions. I can give a talk. I can give you quotations from the Vedas, quotations from Hindu scriptures, quotations from the Bible, which goes against humanity. I'm not here to criticize any religion. If you have not studied any religion, please don't say anything which you have no knowledge of. Quran says, 
ہمیٹی I am talking about not only passing school, not only graduation. You have to become post-graduate. Islam means higher level. Only humanity is low level. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless he is a good human. I challenge you to point out a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity. You may not be knowing the logical background, the logical reason why Islam has prescribed that teaching. And you may think it is against humanity. Like I would say, oh, doctor is giving me injection, it is poking me. But that injection is good for you. You know, doctor is cutting up my tummy. It's cutting up my tummy to save your life. So doctor knows, you don't know. If I have two choices, okay, passing standard two or three, or doing post-graduation. I would prefer post-graduation. Why only standard two and three? Humanity is good. But Islam is far superior than that. Regarding a question, I am endorsing. Islam, because I was born in a Muslim family, I told you, I challenge you, if anyone proves to me any other religion, I have studied most of the major religions, and I think Islam is the most logical, the best religion for humanity. It is the only religion which has the solution for humanity. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the deenah in the layal Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. And for your information, your argument is so weak. Do you know, out of more than 30 scholars that we have from different parts of the world, more than 10, they were not born in a Muslim family. Do you know that? I'd like you to answer this question. Do you know that? Out of 30 people speaking from the stage, more than 10, they were not born Muslim. Do you know that? Sir, I attached maybe. I am asking you a question. Do you know that? No, yes I don't or no? know that. So that means the whole argument falls down. Out of the 30 people speaking from different parts of the world, more than 10 are from America, 4 are from Canada, few are from UK, we are from Malaysia, we have a couple from Saudi Arabia, from UAE, from Somalia, from Sudan. And more than 10, they were born in non-Muslim families. They grew up. Some accepted Islam in the teenage, some accepted Islam in the 20s, some in 30s. And Allah gave them Hidayah. They are Muslims by choice. So your logic that because we are born in Muslim family, therefore I'm endorsing. These people weren't born in Muslim family. They were born in Christian family. They were born in non-Muslim family. Yet they're endorsing Islam. Why? Because they have studied. They have studied other religions and they found Islam is the best way of life. What I request you, you study humanity and study Islam. And try and find out what point in Islam is against humanity. Then you'll come to know that the best religion, I'm not asking a religion, I'm asking you to accept the best religion. And the best way of life, the only solution for humanity is Islam. Thank you. Uh, welcome back friends i hope you enjoy the video uh, the video is very interesting the boy asked the question that uh, why muslim eat the animals meat especially the buffalo the cow the ox and whenever they uh, eat the meat of animals so they kill the animal they slaughter the animal so it's a very dangerous thing that we do it with the living creatures so why it's allowed in islam so uh, Dr. Sam gave him a very good example that if we look at the herbivores, herbivores have same teeth, just like they are no, there are no uh, V-shaped uh, teeth. They have some simple teeth of herbivores like the buffalo, cow, ox, they eat only grasses. But if we look at the carnivores, you know, those who eat only flesh meat like tiger, liger, lion, leopard, hyenas, so their teeth are in that structure. Just like it meant to snatch the flesh of another body, of another human, of another uh, animal. But 
if we look at the omnivores like humans uh, humans because we have two type of teeth one are the simple and we have special teeth for grinding the flesh so if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create the two kinds of teeth in our mouth like the, some basics are for use for the eating the vegetables and the special kinds which are in the nip shape so it's only for eating the flesh of animals so it means that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates the two kind of teeth so it means that we also allow to eat the meat of animal in the holy quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, you should allow to uh, you should allow to eat the meat of animals i think uh, cow buffalo ox goat sheep these are very rich in protein and very rich in minerals there are most of the vitamins that are available only in this flesh meat it doesn't available in vegetable so that's why human need proper nutrition but for a proper nutrition we need to eat healthy and those food which are very rich in vitamins proteins and minerals so if we eat both the vegetarian and non-vegetarian so our body will be keep healthy and we will never do another we will never feel any kind of weakness in our body so that's why islam allow that you should eat the fresh meat of animals as well as the vegetables i hope you like the video if you like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends